Here's some hooks and caps that I designed and printed for my wife's laundry rack. Let me show you what this is all about. Hey Brian. Yeah. Can you do something to fix this? See, sometimes when I take the laundry off, this is really sharp and it catches and it can rip it can rip things. Actually, I have ripped things. Looks like a bad design. Yeah, it looks like they made some really sharp edges. I'm wondering if you can put something on here to make it safer for our clothes. I have just the thing. It's called the Handyman's Secret Weapon. Uh, I don't think so, Tim. <sighs> oh, okay, well what did you have in mind? I had in mind that you would design a 3D cap that we could put on the top of here. And while you're at it, I have another problem. Another? Yeah, this takes up a lot of room on my balcony and I'm not always using it. So I want something that would kind of hook across here so that it can just stand up part of the time. But it becomes okay. very unstable when it's standing up. So I also want a hook that will keep it from falling over. So I would like some custom hooks to keep this together. And then another one that will keep it from falling over. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Well, the end cap was one of the first things that I designed and printed in my, on my 3D printer. I used Tinkercad. It's a rectangular piece there. I rounded off the corners. After taking the dimensions, I knew what size to make them and how deep to make it. Just giving you a view of what these caps look like. And then I used another rectangular shape to hollow out the bottom of the cap so that it would fit over the sharp corner. I then exported it into my slicer program but this would not print out in this orientation very well. I uh, needed to rotate this around so that it's laying on its back and so that there's no gap between the bed and the printed parts. So always make sure that you take a look at that. And then I just multiplied for the number of pieces that I needed for the rack, which is easy to do in Cura and have multiple pieces. The next part was the hook, and I used Autodesk 123D Design uh, for this. Again, a pretty simple part to have the angle and then the hook, uh, the finger that uh, goes up from there, all in a good orientation, flat to the bed as it prints. So you can see the, the design here. The next part was the hook that would hold the laundry rack in a closed position. So I took dimensions of the uh, bars of the laundry rack and you can see uh, the dimensions here just to see, take a look and see how far apart they would be when it's closed up. After making the sketch then I extruded it so you can see the part here. A pretty nice design to be able to print uh, flat to the bed and in a good orientation for uh, printing. It's got rounded corners on the inside, so I was glad that it had that. And then the hook that to hold it against the wall, um, you can see the dimensions, and then I extruded it, and then I put in there the uh, rounded corners on the inside and, and the outside. Again, just to make it stronger and take away any weak points uh, as it's pulling from the wall to the laundry rack, wanted to have some uh, chamfers and fillets in there to make it stronger. And now you can see the parts that I printed, what they look like. Okay, well I've come up with a couple different parts for you, so try these. Here's a cap that I designed that I think should fit on the sharp corners. Right. How's that look? Looks good. It looks like cloth won't catch on that. Yep. It won't rip. It doesn't catch. Looks Great. like that will work. All right. And I've got a couple different hooks here. Here's a hook that would go across those two bars and keep it from being all the way expanded out so it will take up less room. How does that work? Okay. That'll keep it together. Here's a hook that will hold it against the wall over there so that it won't fall over. Wow, perfect. 
And here's one more hook on the other side. For safety, because we have two grandsons who like to pull things over. So, if we have it hooked from two sides, wow, they can't fall perfect. Over. From both sides, the hooks hold it against the wall and against the mesh. These two hooks keep it from expanding, so they hold it together. And you've now seven. got the end cap that will protect the laundry from getting damaged when you hang it. Great! 3D printing really works. If you've enjoyed watching our video or if you've learned something new, please give it a like. Also, if you'd like to know when new videos come out, please subscribe to our channel. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.